Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. So this is going to be the part 4 of the candlestick video series and I will be introducing some patterns of the trend continuation in candlesticks. So I hope you enjoy something new from today's video and also if you haven't watched the part 1 to 3 yet then please do and then come back to this video part 4. So now let me get started. So trend continuation patterns are called Sanpei and Sanpo in Sakata Goho. And I will dig into deeply on, into these patterns. So as I have been introducing, there are five patterns of Sakata Goho. Again, the letter Go means five in Japanese. And Ho means strategy. And Sakata is the name of the location where um, Muneisa Homa was. So um, Sakata Goho is actually basically the five patterns of candlestick. And above three are trend reverse patterns, and below two are trend continuation patterns. So today, on this video, I will be introducing these two patterns, Sanpei and Sampo and also some of the other variations of the patterns too. So um, let me just move on to the next slide. So first let me introduce Sanpei. Sanpei writes like this in Japanese and this san means three in Japanese and pei means the soldiers, the soldiers in Japanese. So basically this is the three candlestick patterns like this three bullish bars, but uh, as he mentioned also, it doesn't have to be three necessary. It can be four or five patterns uh, continuously. So this is called thrust up or thrust down. I have also introduced this idea long ago on one of these uh, price action videos in the past, about three years ago, but uh, this is basically the same idea. So the concept is that the close price becomes above the previous candle's high when it's bullish. So the close price becomes above the previous high, and the next candlestick close becomes above the previous high, and it goes on. So this is the Sanpei pattern, and this is the trend continuation pattern here. So these are some of the examples I found on TradingView. So these are not the three candles, but as you can see these candles, the close price is now becoming above the previous high and it continues up and up and up like this. So this is Sanpei. And here too, um, you have the candlestick bullish and bullish and bullish. So this is also Sanpei pattern. And here too, this, these are the bearish examples. The prices are re renewing lower and lower on each candlestick, and this is Sanpei. So it's pretty simple, and you can find many examples like this on the chart in any time frames. However, um, there are some specific Sanpei that indicates possible end of the trend. So this is something you have to also remember. So Sanpei itself, again, means the trend continuation. But when you see certain patterns, then that indicates the market may stop trending anymore. So and those patterns are these. So actually I introduced those, these two. So these two patterns are Sanpei, but uh, indicates the end of the trend. Above one is called Sanpei uh, Shikake Hanabi. Shikake Hanabi means like a timely bomb like time limit bomb or time limit firework. So uh, simply what this means is that um, um, so this candlestick is bullish, very strong. And then um, next candlestick is bullish and bullish and bullish. But uh, these are the bodies are becoming tiny and tiny. And also wicks are up and up. So this indicates the potential end of the trend. So the market may be worse after this. Sometimes on the top you will see doji. Then 
the market might reverse too. But anyways, if you see the healthy uptrend will like look like this, or like this, or this. So this is one of the patterns that indicates the trend, the end of the trend. And also uh, down here is called um, Sanpei um, Sakizumari. This also indicates the end of the trend down. In fact, the last candlestick had the long wick down. And this indicates the end of the trend also. So anyways, if you see if you see the candlestick reading higher and higher on each candlestick, this is Sanpei. But uh, if you look at the last candlestick, and if you see this big pin bar or big, big wick, long wick, point up or point down. And also if you notice that the candlestick itself are becoming smaller and smaller, then these are the potential reverse pattern. So when you see this, you don't want to buy. If you buy here, then the market may retrace and you may exit with a loss. So these are also type of Sanpei structure. Okay, so that's also uh, important to remember. And then uh, next pattern I will be introducing is Sampo, which is also the trend continuation pattern. And Sampo uh, means market consolidation after a big candlestick. So in this example, there is a big candlestick, and then the market consolidates, then breaks bullish. So when it's uptrend, and when you see this, and when you see this breakout candlestick, this is this indicates the trend continuation. So I have uh, captured a few examples here too, and this one is bullish sample. The market has been bullish, and then there was a bullish candlestick, and then it consolidated for the next three candles, and then the last candlestick broke the previous previous consolidating market, and then this is the new uptrend. And when it's downtrend, it's vice versa. You have a big bearish bar, and then the market consolidates uh, in the next three candles, and then breaks bearish, and most likely the market continues to be bearish after this candlestick. So this is a typical sample. But again, it doesn't have to be three candles always in between. Sometimes it could be more, and I've, I actually showed some of more examples like this. Uh, so here, the market has been bullish, and then there is a bullish bar, then the market consolidates. In this case, there are one, two, three, four, five candles, and one of these candles were bullish, which is also okay. Anyways, the market consolidates, after the bullish bar, and then the future candlestick breaks the consolidating range market, and this is sample. So here is the perfect buying opportunity. So you expect the market goes up this way. So that's a trend continuation pattern too. And here too, when it's downtrend, and there is a big bearish bar, then the market consolidates. One, two, three, four dojis. So it's a pure consolidation, and then the last candlestick broke the four dojis, and this is the new downtrend start. So if you sell, then you can follow downtrend from here. So this is the typical sample structure, which I also use in my analysis and also in my entry strategies. So again, I have been introducing um, five patterns so far on the previous video series. So uh, Sanzan and Sansen and Sanku are the trend reverse pattern, and Sanpei and Sanpo are trend continuation pattern. So again, but we, we have to be careful when you see Sanpei, and when you see the prices are getting, candlesticks are getting smaller, and wicks are pointing up or down, then um, it may be ending, it may be the end of the trend. 
So you have to be careful on those patterns. I mean, sorry, these, these patterns here. So um, this is up and uh, weak pointing up and this may be end of the trend. And also as per original teaching, it also says that when Sanpei becomes um, Sanku, then this indicates the trend reverse. But the Sanku doesn't really appear on the Forex market because it runs almost 24 hours every day. But Sanku uh, can be seen in some of the stock market or index. So Sanpei is healthy uptrend, but when Sanpei becomes Sanku, then you don't want to trade anymore. If you're holding the buy, this is your exit timing. Or if you want to sell, you confirm the next candlestick to be bearish, and then you sell. Then you expect the market goes bearish after Sanku. So again, when it's Sanpei, no doubt you can keep holding the buy, but when you start to see some reverse patterns, Sanpei becomes uh, Sansen also, when there is um, a Doji here on the top, then if next candlestick becomes bearish, then that becomes Sanpei to Sansen, and then the market may start to reverse. It can be Sansen also after Sanpei or Sanpo. So, if you look at the markets by candlesticks and simply read the markets by these patterns, then you know exactly what's happening among the markets. So um, that's how I view the markets and also take trades with Ichimoku Kinko Hyo together. And um, as Goichi Hosoda, the creator of Ichimoku also mentioned, uh, he suggested us to uh, study deeply about the candlesticks because Ichimoku is also from the candlesticks and high and low among the markets and he suggests also that whenever you decide to trade then we better use candlesticks also to decide when exactly to enter or exit your trace and these patterns are also works very well go together very well with Ichimoku and that's why I have also using I have been also using these patterns in my trace. So uh, on the next video, I will be explaining more about these patterns and also I will uh, check in some live market and identify the patterns. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the next video, which will be more practical and uh, continue to learn the candlesticks. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know on the comment then I'm more than happy to answer any questions. So again, thank you very much for watching everyone today. I hope you have a great, great day. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one on one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.